Continuing on with the lateral compartment of the leg, we're going to look at fibularis brevis now. To review its origination point, it comes off the distal part of the fibula here, runs down behind the lateral malleolus, and then it's going to insert here under the styloid process of the fifth metatarsal. Uh, keep in mind during inversion ankle sprains, this is a commonly missed one for a potential site of avulsion fractures. Uh, the main action of this is going to be that eversion action again along with the fibularis longus. And for the muscle test, what we're going to do is bring the ankle just into neutral here, slight eversion. And we can test this muscle and fibularis longus at the same time. It just depends where we put more force. So if I support across the first metatarsal with my left hand and the fifth with my right, if I want to check more of fibularis brevis, what I can do is just apply a little bit more force with this hand into inversion to really see that muscle rebound back right there. And if I wanted to check a little more fibularis longus, I'll use a little more force with this hand and a little less with, with this while I try and roll that first metatarsal out and still apply a little bit of inversion force to check the eversion potential of these two. And again, we can check the ankle in all its degrees of range of motion if we bring them out into plantar flexion and into a little bit of eversion, we can do the same thing, support across the first metatarsal as well as the fifth. And again, I'm trying to invert his ankle a little bit more with this hand in this case. And now if we want to check a little bit more longus, I'll use a little more up and out force and still a bit with this hand. Nice like that.